unfortunately, and I told Dennis that after I saw the first one, I said, Dennis, I, I think you're off gassing. And my, you know, we, we checked it and it looks like it could be a significant amount. And if the, if the air is not moving quickly, it's coming right into your cave, so to speak. And uh, he, he accepted that problem, except that was, that was seemed like a good, a good piece of advice, but he was pretty far down the stream at that point. And uh, I just thought he was a great guy. We only bumped into each other a few times after that. Uh, but I had a great fondness for Dennis, still do, miss him. And um, he, was a, he was a genuine human being and he cared. Uh, that place that, that Ronaldo is talking about is in Ridgeway, Colorado. Earth, the Earthship is the word that people right. started in these, these structures. The Earthship part of it is a great idea, which is take advantage of the 60 degree temperature that there is as you get anywhere six foot below the surface along our in our planet. So build your structure, but don't use tires, and yep. and uh, and that's a, a horrible use for that. But straw bales or or rocks or you know, a whole bunch of other kinds of things could be used. So gabion walls are where you put a lot of rocks into a container that's maybe like a wired fence around it, and then that could have been what he did. Instead, he used tires. And, yeah, and by the way, I, I like to tell people about rammed earth because they're not, most people don't know about rammed earth. And they say, gee, rammed earth, does that really hold up uh, over time? And I like to point out the entire Great Wall of China is built with rammed earth. It's rammed earth, yeah. 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 And so, yes, of course it holds up. You got to know what you're doing. But rammed earth doesn't off-gas.